Hey guys, and welcome back to another YouTube video. So in today's video, I'm going to be going over something that I've seen a lot of comments about, and something that I was wondering about when I was mining Ethereum. So as we all know, the price of Ethereum has been skyrocketing lately. So maybe not in the past month or so, we've seen a decline. But if we look back a year ago, we can see the price has grown uh, tremendously. And that means that the amount of users and the amount of people that are mining Ethereum has also gone up. So pretty much uh, this is my little mining window here. I'm going to zoom it in so that everyone can see it a little bit better. And you'll notice that I'm using an AMD RX 480. It has eight gigabytes of video RAM. It's a good graphics card. And it's only mining at 16.1 mega hash per second. Now it is to be noted, this is not overclocked. This does not have a BIOS flash. And I am recording a video right now. So it is slightly slower than usual, but not by much. So I usually can expect to get between 17 and 18 mega hash per second, which is a lot slower than what I used to mine at. Say for example, if we take if we uh, go back in time to maybe about the summer, so like July, uh, September, around then I was mining at 22, 23 mega hash per second stock, meaning without overclocking my card, that's how much I could get. If I overclocked, I can maybe even push to 25 mega hashes per second. So we can see that that is a huge difference in uh, in speed. So now the real question is, well, why does it look like this? Why are we mining so much slower? Now there's a few reasons for this, but the main one that I want to bring up is this right here. So this is just an Ethereum uh, mining difficulty chart, as we can see here. And it shows us the difficulty of the network starting from October and to now. And we can see that this chart is growing and going upwards. Now if you don't know, when you mine Ethereum, uh, there's a certain difficulty level. Now after a certain amount of my, uh, blocks have been mined, that difficulty level increases. So just like we can no longer mine Bitcoin off of our computers if we want to actually make somewhat of a profit, that's similar to what's happening to Ethereum. Not on the same level, but it is similar. So if we remember uh, Bitcoin, people used to be able to mine on their computers just like we mine Ethereum. But now you need ASIC mining hardware to actually be able to make any real money mining Bitcoin because it is so difficult to mine it. So pretty much as the network gets more advanced, the difficulty continues to go up and we can see that we are continually growing. So obviously as the uh, difficulty grows and our graphics cards don't get any more advanced, we're going to be mining slower. And that's just the story of it. So I'm going to, if we look up here, we can see that there's something that says the DAG EPOSH. Okay. Now this happens every time you load up your miner, it shows you this DAG and this DAG number. Now this number represents the difficulty of the network. So when I started mining, my DAG was at about 130. So that was pretty low and that's when I was getting those high mega hashes, so 23 to 25 mega hashes. And now you can see we're at 170. So as this number increases, your mining performance decreases. Now this is going to be different depending on what card you have. And there are still some cards that are mining at the same mega hashes they were mining at uh, maybe a few months ago. But depending on the graphics card you have, your uh, your hashing speed is going to decrease over time. And that's just something that you have to understand. So, for example, if you had bought a card uh, a few months ago and you're expecting it to keep the same hashing power, well, that's not going to happen. And the only way that you can really get back that hashing power is by doing something like modding your BIOS or by trying to overclock your card. And even with a standard overclock, it's going to be difficult to get those uh those same numbers that you had in the past. So I hope this answered your question on why uh, the your mega hashes or your mining speed is going down uh, pretty much as the network gets more advanced. So does the difficulty and that means that your card is not going to be mining as fast as it was before. So if you guys have any other questions or any videos you'd like to see in the future, please leave a like and uh, subscribe to the channel as it would really help me out. 